Christian Bale is a little different than other celebs when it comes to his real estate. Instead of spending lavishly on homes all over the world, he's chosen his properties carefully and it's reported the only home publicly linked to the actor is a small bungalow in Santa Monica, California, which he and his wife purchased back in 2001. But a little more digging will unearth two further homes, one of which is an 8.5 acre ranch located in the California neighborhood of Sullivan Canyon that he bought in 2008, and the other an $8.8 .8 million Los Angeles mansion that Bill tried his very best to keep hidden. Also, Michael and I dropped our very own house tour of our new home we moved into this year, so go ahead and subscribe to our family channel if you want to see where we're living and more of what we're up to. And once you watch, let me know what you think of our place. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Actor Christian Bale is about to unleash his newest comic book role, Gore the God Butcher, upon all our unsuspecting souls. But it wasn't all that long ago that this English performer was best known for his portrayal of Batman in Christopher Nolan's trilogy. Bale began acting at just eight years old, and his very first role was in, of all things, a fabric softener commercial. From there, he'd go on to make his stage debut alongside Mr. Bean, aka Rowan Atkinson, in a production titled The Nerd on London's West End. But Christian wouldn't truly leave his mark on the industry until the late 90s by starring as Patrick Bateman in American Psycho. And then, of course, as Bruce Wayne in Batman Begins. While the former role turned Bill into one of the most heralded actors of his generation, that latter one transformed him into a superstar. And a rich one at that. Estimates suggest Bill earned as much as $54 million in total for the entire Batman trilogy. Despite that fortune, Christian never blew it too much on luxury mansions over the years, but he has bought himself some beautiful homes in Los Angeles. Hey guys, it's Kara back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment, today looking at the homes of Christian Bale. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat. And now, let's get into this video. We're going to kick things off by taking a look at the history of Christian's newest home, which ironically enough is the one house we know the most about, even though he tried very hard to prevent anyone from discovering it. Located in Brentwood Park, a low-key but very trendy neighborhood on the west side of LA, Christian's newest home is an 8,081 square foot mansion that, aside from the outside, honestly looks very regular. Maybe that's why he wanted to hide it? I don't know. This property was sold in January. January of 2017 for around $8.8 million to a blind trust that had all the telltale signs of being a front for a celeb owner, the identity of whom was hidden away behind a variety of names and addresses that suggests Christian went to a whole lot of trouble to deliberately confuse anyone looking to find out it was him. Eventually, however, Dirt.com would put the pieces together, revealing Christian as the proud new owner. Prior to him taking ownership, this place had been on and off the market for over five Five years at a wide variety of prices as the previous owners tried their best to offload the thing not long after buying it brand new in 2007 for a reported $11.2 million. After initially listing the property in 2011, they had to wait close to six years for Christian to come along and offer them $8.8 .8 million for the property, which was actually about $200,000 more than they were asking for at the time. But enough history on this place, let's get inside and take a look. Generally speaking, the lot size for this home is fairly small in relation to other properties in Brentwood Park at well under half an acre. That being said, this home is sufficiently private enough for a celebrity, which let's be honest, is a major selling point for big time movie stars like Christian. The home is set far back from the road behind a double gated driveway and a tall thicket of green hedges. Technically speaking, the home's architecture is best described as Hampton style and a stone pathway leads to the all-white front door. Stepping foot into the house, you'll immediately enter a charming but regular-sized hallway. To the left of that space is the main living room that comes with a plus-sized fireplace. On the opposite side of the front hallway, then, is a formal dining room that comes complete with a bronze chandelier and some lightly colored hardwood flooring. A bit further into the home, you'll discover a large family room that also includes a row of French doors that provide access to the backyard. Over 
Over in the kitchen, it boasts granite countertops and a bunch of high-end stainless steel appliances, including what appears to be multiple dishwashers. Elsewhere is what I think is the best looking room of all, a wood paneled library. Seriously, I could just picture Christian curling up with a good book in here. I mean, what else do you think he does with his free time? It's not like we see him much in the tabloids or out on the town, I mean, for something other than yelling at crew members on set, of course. Meanwhile, down in the basement of the property is a home theater as well as a game room that's said to include a ping pong table. In total, there are six bedrooms as well as seven and a half bathrooms spread throughout the house, most of which are located on the upper floor, like the master suite, which includes a sitting room accessorized with a fireplace of its own and an ensuite bath with a glass shower. Finally, while Christian's backyard might not be too spacious, it is thoughtfully laid out with a patio for lounging, a grassy lawn with a pool and an outdoor kitchen slash barbecue station. And for those of you interested, some of Christian's new neighbors include LeBron James, who lives only a few houses away, as well as James Corden, Tommy McGuire, Trey Parker, and many other notable celebrities. By most accounts, since buying this place in 2017, this has become Christian's primary place of residence. But it's not the only home he and his family own, so let's take a quick look at the other two. The one property Christian never attempted to hide from prying eyes is also the one he's owned the longest. A cute little Spanish style cottage located in the city of Santa Monica. The only problem is that even though he's owned this place forever, there's very little details about it circulating outside of a few random pictures you can find online. That being said, the general belief is that Christian and his family haven't lived here since 2008, which is when they bought their second property in the California neighborhood known as Sullivan Canyon. According to reports, Christian dropped an eye popping $13.5 million on this 8.5 acre ranch and this is where his family has spent the better part of the last 15 years or so. Considering they spend so much time here, it's not surprising to discover that much like his first property, there just aren't many details floating around out there about it. The little details we do know suggest that the property is comprised of several structures, including a 4,000 square foot single story main house with four bedrooms and three and a half bathrooms. Meanwhile, additional amenities are said to include a large pool, horse stables, as well as dozens upon dozens of treats. And that's where the information about the homes of Christian Bale dries up. Will he buy a new home sometime in the near future with what was no doubt a major payday for his return to comic book movies in Thor Love and Thunder? We'll just have to wait and see. Well, thanks for tuning into this house tour and go ahead and let me know what you thought of the places Christian calls home down below. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Follow me on Instagram to chat and I'll see you all in another video. Bye.